Hi folks, um, right, what we're going to look at today is a brief introduction and I warn you it's going to be a little bit, because I'm learning this myself, but a brief introduction to QGIS. Uh, this came about by a comment that Ken Koja made on the droning community the other week after I posted this picture created in QGIS on there and replied to a thread. Um, so he said you should post a video of your post processing workflow for those of us who have never used QGIS. Right, um, as I say I've only recently started using it and that so I will explain how I got this picture. It's created from three different ortho photos. There's one here of the lower side, one here of the middle part of the side and one here of the upper part of the side. So we'll go ahead and explain how I've got these three all into one. So we'll go to a new project and we've got a blank screen. Uh, you can see the layers key here and there's a browser window here where you can access various stuff. Right, so we'll bring in the first ortho photo. Now these are, um, I did an export of all from WebODM and this is the ortho photo in the ODM ortho photo folder once you've extracted that. So see we've got just the ortho photo of the lower side and a white background. So the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to open a copy of OpenStreetMap. So we'll just double click on that and yeah, lo and behold we've got our street map. But it's over the top of the ortho photo. So we need to move that to the bottom in the key. And there you see it's now behind it. And we'll drag and drop the middle. and just bear with the upper level and uh, you can see we have got all three levels and the open street map in the left hand column here now. So what we want to do next is we're going to merge these into one file. So if we go to raster, miscellaneous and merge. That brings up this form which we need to, the first thing we need to do is select the input layers that we want to merge together. So if we just click on the three little dots there and that's 
Sin Madrizara, Medo, Anapa, leave the Anton Street map unselected, go back, and now we'll enter where we want it merged to. Um, default is saved to a temporary file which will create a temporary layer which you can then save the layer later as a non-temporary layer. But we'll hit save to file and we go to save it to a TIFF, T-I-F-F file. So we'll give it a name and we'll call it Hudson Meadows Hugis Intro. And hit save. And we'll leave this box ticked because what that's going to do is once the TIFF file is produced, it's going to overlay that at the top of it, this little, little overlay that on the map so we'll hit run this takes a little while it varies depending upon what the input is so we'll hit run and let everything run along so it takes a little while. This bar at the bottom will change and yeah, show progress 30 percent, 60 percent. and it's done right so you see we've got the one layer but we've got this big black area around it where there's no data so from the we'll click right click on there select properties and we'll select the transparency tag and down here we'll add values from display and just left click on it click apply okay and there we are we've got a complete um, layer with all three layers on it so if I turn these off there you go you can see it's one complete layer and that is a very brief intro into my post processing of QGIS 
I hope that helps. Um, I will at a later date do one on the layout manager, print layout manager, which is quite interesting. Right, thanks for watching folks. Catch you all later. Bye.